hello guys so um you welcome to my youtube channel my name is edward amwako and in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to design this amazing happy new month flyer okay um so um i got this this whole of this um design idea from um from instagram okay so um it's better you follow me on instagram all right so um i'm not going to waste my time my time so um let's 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 get started right away okay okay so what we are going to do is that um we have to create the background um and then start with the text and then the image effect and all that okay so the first thing as a designer you have to do is to get your or your documents so let's create a new document don't worry i will leave a link in the video description um so that you can have access to all the resources okay so if you are wondering accept the picture but the font and everything uh, i can give you okay so we are creating a new document and then the first thing that we have to do is to get a solid color and then the solid color we are going to give it not too dark okay so we can just put in f um, 3 f2 f2 okay which is not all dark all that dark you know uh-huh so which is not dark and all that okay good all right so the next thing is we are going to create um a rectangular shape for this so once you select your rectangular to come to the top here and then we are going to give it um, um this color which looks like a purple or violet okay we don't need a stroke okay then we give it this particular shape okay good amazing then um i'm going to add um, a gradient color to this particular shape okay so let's go to the gradient so before you add a gradient color to this select the layer which is the rectangle go to f s select the gradient overlay and then your gradient style is going to pop up so this is the gradient let me give you the colors okay so the colors let me double click here so you put in this color code f b one c five b five b one c five b okay and then the second one is three eight zero e three eight three eight zero e three eight okay you put in this two color code you can go ahead and save this color code okay just press on the new and then it will be saved here for you go ahead when you are done and then make sure that your gradient is the style is linear the angle is zero okay it is normal every two opacity is 100 you okay go ahead and save it and then we bring in our image okay so um the image as i said that i'm not going to give you the image but um, i will give you the um i'll give you the the font and everything except the image okay very good so we drop the image let's wait for the image to yes so this is the image you double click to accept and we are going to rasterize this particular image okay let's come to the layer side and rasterize it and then let's go to property and then we are going to remove the background okay remove background okay so when we are done removing the background then what we do is that we go to fill the filter here so let's wait for the background to be removed by photoshop okay there are so many ways you can remove the background but i usually like using this property okay if you are using um photoshop 2021 so my own is photoshop 2021 if you are using an updated version it has this remove background or the quick or the select uh, the select subject over there okay there are so many ways that i have a video there on how to remove um background image okay 
all right so our background is removed neatly okay so we don't need this um, this property so we click this arrow so that it is gone then what we are going to do is to duplicate um, this image okay you can duplicate it by pressing ctrl j okay duplicate simply means to copy it okay then we hide the original one clicking on this eye so that in case we made a mistake or we make a mistake we can come back and then the one that is written the copied what you do is that we will right click it okay it is already rasterized so let me leave it like that and let's go to filter here we are going to just um, add a little bit of i mean some kind of effect to the image so um we go to filter and then you convert it to smart filters okay yes there is a reason why you convert it to smart filters yes let's go to smart filters so that um, when we are editing it will be um, the effect will um, appear on it okay okay so the it will it will convert to smart filters over here good so now it is converted then what we do is go to the same filter okay then go to um filter gallery all right please pay attention go to filter gallery click on it and you are going to have this amazing i mean filter gallery where we will add the effect so you could see from my um let me open my design so that you have a look at it okay so here is the design so let me double click to open it okay so as it is open let's go back to photoshop okay so this is the filter gallery okay now you could see the effect already on my image okay so i'm going to show you how i got this um effect okay on my image so what i did is i'm going to hide this okay so when you put in the image it is like this all right so when you open it for the first time you will see a uh, artistic you see brush stroke you see the start, you see sketch stylish and texture okay i'm going to add an effect called the brush stroke so i'll open the brush st stroke folder okay then i will look out for the ink outline okay so once you let me go back so that you will understand okay so i said earlier that you convert your image to smart filter so when you are done converting it to the smart filter then you go to the same filter again then you set it to filter gallery okay you click on the filter gallery now clicking on the filter gallery that is where we are going to do the magic you get it now let me see my design so you can see this is the design that we are doing right now you can see that there is a kind of effect on the image that is what we are doing so let me highlight it so let me aha uh -huh. so this is your raw image and then i said when you open it you are going to see artistic strokes and um, brush strokes the start sketch and then the rest straight away we are going into brush strokes okay so let's click on it now we have ascent edges we have outline strokes cross sketch uh, and then dark strokes and so on and so forth my attention is on the ink outline so we click on the ink outline like this once you click on it because i have deactivated it here that's why you are not seeing it so let me activate it so when you click on it so the same way if you um, click on angle stroke you are going to see cross stroke you are going to see so you see the effect happening over here okay so i really want the ink out lines okay so i'll click on the ink outlines i really like it okay so come to the ink outline settings the bright and the light intensity you can go ahead and increase it the bright and uh, the light intensity because the light is too dark and then you can set it to either 20 okay which is not bad okay 20 okay and then the dark intensity remain it like that 
and then the stroke length remain it when we are done click ok ok you click ok and then the effect will happen or it will appear on your image over here for you very beautiful okay it looks good does it and then you let's bring the image backwards a little bit and let me go to filter go to camera raw okay click on camera raw we are going to add some sharpness and some um, some magic to the image okay good so once you click on camera raw, just relax for the camera raw to open at times it takes time i mean it takes time because um I, i'm using it i've used it a lot so at times it takes time so you have to relax for the camera roll to open up okay yes that is what we use to um edit images for the images to be sharp and all that okay all right so this is the camera roll which has opened so what we are going to do is that we head on to our exposure okay we are going to increase the exposure a little bit not that too much okay so once you are exposing or once you are adding a bit of editing you have to be very careful okay uh -huh. so let's add a bit of exposure and then the contrast let's increase it a little bit that is okay for me and then let's go down to clarity let's add a bit of clarity and then um, we don't need huge and saturation then let's go to details okay then i'm going to add a bit of sharpness which is okay for me so i like it this way i'll go ahead and click on okay all right and then the effect is going to be added to it okay good so the next thing that we'll do if you look take a look at our image the next thing that we are going to do is to bring in the text and then the rest okay so let's go all right so bringing in the text let's select bring in the rulers that's very very important okay so let's bring the rulers somewhere here okay all right then let me bring this one to on top of the image then, okay all right let me bring it here okay so let me go in for my text tool now we i only use one font for all of these um this particular flyer i use only one font for it i did not use any other font than um than this particular font called gotham okay so just go ahead and select your horizontal type to we are using the gotham okay so i'm using gotham black for this particular um work okay so let me go to gotham let me edit it and then delete i only need the gotham not the yes so the gotham i'm using the black regular okay click on it and then i'm going to change the color to uh, let me pick the color from the attire okay let me click here oh, the color which looks like kind of so it the kind of hash or ash or something okay so let me let me bring it here yes i think this is okay so c7 c5 c5 okay then i'm going to use a font 30 okay and i'm going to type happy new month all in caps no they are not in caps only the first letters are going to be in caps the rest are going to be in um in in small letters okay all right so let's let's allow it i mean my computer is a bit slow i don't know what is happening i don't know what is really happening what is what is really happening okay okay so let me highlight it 
and then type in happy happy new month okay so when you are done typing you go ahead and click on okay that 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 is that means that um, you are done all right so the next thing that we are going to do is to just edit this i think uh, i'm not seeing the brightness so let me go down a little bit so that i can see yes i think this this is not yeah this is okay and then there is too much spacing between the happy the new and then the month so i'll go to the ae here okay the ae and then drag it back okay so something like this is not bad all right then what i'm going to do is to bring in a rectangle okay where i'm going to write in the welcome new month on it so make sure that um, you it is aligned that's very very important okay so once you are done um, we don't need this particular um, property okay so you click on it over here so that to go then we are going to change the color of this rectangle by going to FX go to gradient overlay I'm going to give you the colors okay so you click on gradient overlay we don't need this particular color so click on this space I have saved the color here for you okay so here is the color let me give you the first one so this is you can just even come down so that it will be a bit of deep okay so e86 a03 e86 a03 and then the second one ff940b ff940b so i've taught you how to save it so when you are done go ahead and click here to save okay all right so as i said linear everything is okay so let's align select the layer side select the happy new month and then the rectangle and align it here okay alignment is always important so let's shift it up a little bit okay so what i'm going to do is to copy duplicate the happy new month which is ctrl j bring it down and then change um change the the gotham to gotham book okay and this i'm going to pick this particular color all right then i'm going to change this to auto i'm going to change the size to six all right let me zoom out okay and i'm going to type in the text okay so the text is don't look back when we are so don't full stop okay so um you can just leave it like this okay um, yes i like it this way so i'm going to copy this bring it up here so you can see that um in my layer side the don't that the coat is under the rectangle so i'll bring it on top of the rectangle so that it will appear here double click it and i'm going to write this welcome to the month of may okay so welcome to the month of may okay all right so i'm bringing it here and i'm going to stress on the may okay yes because that is the month all right good amazing so i will select this i'm going to align the text okay to the rectangle and then push this one here and i'm going to make sure that it is in line with the rectangle okay i want everything to be aligned so alignment is very very important in design aligning your work is very very important 
so the next thing that we are going to do is to bring in the contacts okay so with the contacts bring in our white rectangle okay very nice okay and then we are going to change the color to white all right okay so something like this and then we are going to curve it so once you draw the rectangle you see this property popping up so you turn this to either 8 which is not bad okay and then we are going to copy this again shift to this side okay okay beautiful so something like this is not bad then we are going to change this particular color to the same color as the one that we wrote the welcoming on it so we are going to fx gradient okay and we are going to change the color yes we are going to maintain this all right okay so you see so what we are going to do is that we are going to make the shape smaller something like this okay and then select this and then align it like text absolutely beautiful okay i like it this way so what i'm going to do next is going to copy this code all right bring it there so it is not showing so let me shift it up then change the color to let let let, let me not change the color yeah let me bring it here so this is going to be my number zero five four five two zero one six one four and then zero two five six seven eight two six nine five okay good so let me bring it here all right so let me make it smaller okay this one is too long for me okay it's too long for me so, so that, yeah yes and then let me set this one to bold okay yes let me let me set it to bold okay and then i'm going to copy this and i'm going to write here contact okay contact contact us okay so let me bring it here okay so that means that um, let me let me increase the size of the font to five okay let me increase this one to five all right good then let me position it well um, okay and select this and then enlarge the rectangle okay just take your time and then make sure that you are doing the right thing okay very beautiful okay uh, okay so um let me shift this one here and bring the coat down okay i think this is beautiful I like it so i'll select the the rectangles these two rectangles and then bring them here okay yes make sure that they are they are in line okay very beautiful all right very beautiful so the beauty of the design is coming up all right so um what we are going to do next is click on the background okay i mean the the last background and then we are going to bring this particular flower so go to vectors so you can even download them online okay you can download the vector online okay so this is the flower that i have a lot of vectors just download them so this is the flower you bring them to photoshop okay and we are going to rotate it okay just click on the edge some part of the edge like this we're going to rotate it this way and then shift it here a little bit so let's let me reduce the flower okay which is like this then we are going to add a bit of um 
blur gaussian blur okay so go to filter and then you go to blur go to gaussian blur okay so you can set it to four or five i think five is okay okay so something like this is is fine all right so you can add your logo if you want okay you can add because me i added my logo here so you can add your own logo if you want to okay so yes the beauty of the design is coming up i really like what i'm seeing so let me remove the rulers you can remove the rulers okay if, if you want you can remove the rulers or the guides okay great so what we are going to do next is to add a bit of some brightness to the image so you could see so what we do is that select the image and then add a layer okay add a layer okay this is the plus icon here so click on it to add the layer go in for your brush tool select the brush tool and then set the brush to 80 and then make sure you change the foreground color there's the foreground color click on this ash and then you can select this particular color um, yes which is not bad okay great and then you can just let's increase the size of the font uh, the brush or i think yes i think the 800 is not bad and then click on this part just to add a bit of this kind of um yellow variant to it and then we are going to st still on the layer set it to screen okay and then what we are going to do is that we are going to enlarge that particular layer good so something like this let it come down okay so let me stretch it up very good then what i did is that i create a clipping max to the image okay then what i did is to click on so you could see that there's kind of some brightness to the image okay so just the same image and uh, layer control u that is huge and saturation so better still come to image come to adjustment and come to huge and saturation here click on it and then we are going to play along with the huge here okay so let's go here so as you are going so you could see the kind of the changes happening okay so let's let's set it up to this this part i think this this, this is not bad okay so if you like it go ahead and click on okay then let's come and reduce the opacity okay let's reduce the opacity to somehow yes 75 or 73 all right so let's let's add let's change the huge all right so let's let's play along with it okay so just have a look at it yes this one looks a bit of yellowish or something okay so something like this won't be bad okay so just just play along with the huge and saturation the one that you really want so you can go ahead and increase the i mean the opacity if you really want okay but make sure that it is set to screen okay all right i think this is this is our design which looks so beautiful so you see very simple flyer so you add your maybe your image or something uh, sorry your logo and you are good to go so one more thing that we are done is to click on the background again then we are going to create this particular shape that you see around okay so what we are going to do is that go to your shape to click on ellipse we don't need the sphere color but we need a stroke color this particular stroke color and we are setting it to either 21 or 20 then creates the shape like this i think the stroke is even more so let's reduce it to something like 15 which is not bad then we are going to press on ctrl t right click it and then we are using the wrap okay so just play along with it something like this which is okay for me go ahead and click ok and then you can rotate it this way okay and then enlarge it 
Okay, let me zoom out so that I will see my work. Okay, so um, so here is it. I think. Let me let me rotate it this way. Okay, so you can I can bring it here. Okay. Let me rotate it this way. Okay. Uh huh. F something like this. And then let me bring it here. Yes. So you see, then duplicate, which is Ctrl J. Let me copy it, bring it here, and I'm going to press on Ctrl T. Right click it, and then I'm going to set it to flip horizontal. Okay. Then I'll bring it here okay let me bring it down okay which is beautiful for me okay so i can even go ahead and curve it more okay i can go ahead and curve it more okay so this is it so you can do more magic to i mean your your shape okay just click on this edge and then right click and go to warp and then you can play along with it okay you can play along with it if you think you don't like it you can just play along with it okay okay all right so i can i can even leave it like this okay i can leave it like this if if i really want to okay if i really want to any anyhow like i said anyhow you want it just just play along with it and then you are good to go so when you are done you know what to do we are going to export this particular design okay so this is the original work okay and then this is what we created all right so just try your hand on it and you are good to go so what you do is i'll go to file and then go to export go to export as all right you can even reduce this opacity because i think it's too yes i think you can go ahead and reduce it to somehow 65 which is not bad so go to file export export as so let's wait as it is exporting okay okay so this is the uh this is the exports so what we are going to do that we don't need the the format okay so let's set the, set the format to jpeg okay and then the quality i can set it to excellent or great okay yes and then the scale 100 percent i mean any other thing i think i'm okay with it i can go ahead and click on export and here you have the access to name the file okay so i'm saving it to desktop okay so let me select desktop okay and i'm saving it to desktop or close it and then open our work so there's it this is the one that we just did and this is the original one so let's open it and see so this is our design i mean when you try this for yourself or for your brand i think it is a very good call very beautiful and amazing flyer so please try your hand and don't forget that you like the video you comment and then you invite somebody let me see you some other time bye